Well, hi, everybody. It is Joy Packard. Happy Sunday. It's been uh, an awesome day. I love Sundays. It's a day for rest. It's a day for church. It's a day for renewal. Uh, it's a, the beginning of a week, I guess, or the beginning of getting ready for a week. And so I always love Sundays because um, it just gives us a time to you know, be ready. And so I just wanted to, to say a quick hello. I was actually uh, about to, to write my son a letter who is in Montevideo, Uruguay right now. And, you know, he's doing so well for those who have been following. He's been out for, you know, they go away for two years and he is actually going to be coming home in 19 more days. Uh, we got his uh, flight itinerary last week and um, he'll be coming home. And, you know, it's interesting watching him from the beginning until now and, you know, the growth of watching him and, and learning Spanish and a little bit of Portuguese and going from someone who is, you know, he was um, 18 years old and um, almost 19 yeah, actually, he, I can't remember the na the ages of my kids, but um, it's interesting to watch them go out, you know, with um, not having as much confidence to actually having more confidence now. And so it's super interesting. It's super exciting. And I'll share with you some thoughts from him and some of his letters because it's so inspiring. And so, like I say, I love Sundays. I, um, I love reflecting. You know, it's a day that I try and take off from doing so much work and so much stuff with my business. I try and uh, spend more time with family. I spend more time, you know, reflecting, like I say, writing in my journal. I have uh, many journals and um, there are specific journals that I have. I love this one here. Uh, this one says, make it happen. Choose joy. Love unconditionally. Let your heart uh, be your guide. Um, believe in yourself, speak kindly, follow your dreams and work hard. You know, I'm not sure about you, but um, I have several journals and specific ones are for, sp for specific things. And so every Sunday, what I do is I try and renew my thoughts for the coming week, right? And so you may have, you know, certain ideas, certain goals, reviewing your mind mapping, whatever it is. And so it's it's really, you know, a day that I, I love. I look forward to because I do. I take time out, time away. Hi, Lisa, how are you doing? And so, you know, as I reflect on the last two years, I can vividly remember when I was taking my son to the airport, right? And here he is about to come home um, from Uruguay. You know, he has grown up to be this amazing young man and um, full of love. You know, though, you know, when you, if you think about it, if you are serving and you are doing things every day that basically uh, you're, you're serving and you're, you know, you're just doing those kind of things, it's really neat to see your, their disposition, right? And so here, I was going to share with you a, a few um, quotes, if I may, or a few things from his letter, um, just to, um, it, it's so inspiring to me when I, when I, he writes once a week, he writes on Mondays, and it's so inspiring to me, some of the things that he says. And, you know, it's like, every time he says it, it's almost like, this is what I needed to hear, or this is so inspiring, this is something that I need to do. And so it's so neat to, you know, there's so many letters for those who, you know, want to read his letters. We have the journal letters posted on his blog. I'll post that in the comments later. Um, but, you know, over the last two years to go from his first letter until now and watch his growth and watch his um, advancing of language, you know, of testimony, um, of different things. And it just, you know, makes me think about applying that into our own life, right? And taking something that we've never done before, you know, he's never been on a mission. He's, you know, he's never done something like this before. And we as ourselves taking something that we may have never done before. Maybe it's, it's a new habit of working out. Maybe you're going to start lifting heavier weights. Maybe you're going to, you know, begin a whole new business, whatever it is, we can apply it. And so, like I say, to watch him and to take something from, you know, not knowing how to do it to taking two years on every single day, he is bettering himself. You know, he's reading, he's sharing, he's, he's serving. 
And, um, you know, to see your son, you know, grow from that into this amazing young man, you know, we were so excited. Um, it's 19 more days, you know, we'll be welcoming him back to Houston and, you know, what an accomplishment, right? Hi, Sinead, what an accomplishment for, you know, somebody to go out, you know, for, for that long and to take time away from their life. Uh, you know, he's going to uh, BYU Hawaii. He got accepted and he's going in January, but he, you know, he put his college on hold for the time that he's doing that. And so it's so super neat to um, see him, like I say, grow. And so um, one of the thoughts that he shared last week was very interesting. And I, I won't read the whole thing, but I just wanted to share a few things with you. And, you know, he talked a little bit about some of the scriptures and he says, you know, how many, how many things, cause you know, a lot of us are going through difficult times in our life, right? We all go through different things that are hard and on a daily basis, no matter what we are doing, no matter who we are, we're going to have daily trials, you know, daily um, things that happen that are going to be hard right? And so he's talking about a section in the scriptures, and he basically says, you know, and I'm going to summarize it, that it lists so many things and says that so many difficult things are going to keep happening because they are for our benefit and for our experience. And he said, it isn't just difficulties. It, ju it isn't just difficulties lead to experience. No, when we have difficulties, we are to turn to God. And he says, we are to require and seek his help. He then seeks his help he that, he that seeks his heart with a broken heart and contrite spirit will receive it. And we are humbled because of our difficulties. And I thought about that. You know, if you think about it, when things are going okay in our life, we don't really reach out, right? And so one of um, the other things that he says is, um, I'm going to read to you the letter that he wrote me, my personal letter that he wrote me last week. And I love how he takes such a simple concept, right? And it says basically, um, let's see here. He says, I figured out that there are two rules in life. One, don't do anything that drives away the spirit. And number two, keep the commandments. <laughs> and I thought, you know, how simple is that? You know, in one of his letters he wrote, Mom, he said, when we are doing the things that are right, we are happy. And when we aren't doing the things that are right, we're not. And I thought to myself, you know, these are things that they've learned when they were little. We hear our little kids saying that. But if you think about it, um, hey, it's good to see you too, Lisa. And so if you think about it, you know, it's as simple as that, right? To, to live our life as simple as that. I mean, if you think about just simplifying and saying, you know, when I do the right thing, I'm happy. And, and so that, that is, you know, so awesome. And um, anyway, and so that was on my son because we're just so excited to welcome him home. Uh, for those who are local, you know, he's going to be speaking at our church on September 23rd at 10.50 a.m. over here in Siena. So if you're in the local Missouri City area, we welcome you. And, um, you know, we'll be able to hear his um, experiences and, you know, the things that he has experienced in Uruguay. It's, it's pretty amazing. And to hear him uh, learn the language, right? So that was one thought. And then I'll share with you one more thing as a Sunday thought. I always, you know, am inspired on Sundays and certain things that we talk about, you know, um, are pretty, are pretty awesome. And so one of the things today that we talked about and discussed was how, you know, um, whenever we are ever trying to always be right, you know, it's okay to let someone be right. And have you ever noticed that if you are ever like in an argument or if you're ever in a disagreement, it's whenever we start raising our voice is whenever it makes the whole conversation harder, right? And so today, you know, we talked about that in church. It was like, um, you know, that scripture in Proverbs where it talks about a soft answer turneth away wrath. And I thought about that all day today. And I thought, you know, when we, when we speak with a kinder, softer voice, it's like it's a lot easier in conversation, right, than as if we um, basically don't <laughs> and we do it another way. So, you know, I, I love Sundays. Like I say, Sundays are a day that um, I do a lot of meditating, a lot of reflecting, a lot of um, evaluating my life, you know, and where I want to be going, what I want to be doing, uh, those kind of things. And so it's very um 
nice, whether it's a Sunday for you or whatever day of the week that you can take away, that you can take the time for yourself to do that reflecting, you know, to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do as a person in your business, you know, what is it that you want to do to be improving yourself? So, you know, I always um, love that. I love to be able to uh, have quiet, you know, because there's so much noise in the world. It's nice to be able to have that quiet and Sundays seem to be the best days for that. So, um, had an amazing day today as far as, um, you know, church goes and stuff. And so I thought that that would be something that could help you, you know, in whatever it is that you're doing. And I hope that, um, you are doing your journaling and, you know, all the things that we talk about all the time. So look, if you um, have not uh, subscribed to my podcast, it's called Joy Reveals. It is on iTunes and it is on the Stitcher app. If you are on an Android phone, it's called Joy Reveals. Love it. If you download it, review it. We just uploaded a very short episode just recently. And so um, feel free to listen to that. I think there's 20 episodes on it there and it kind of builds upon, you know, the episodes build upon each other. And so it will help you as you are trying to plan all the different things that you are trying to do. All right. I think that I hear some of my family coming in. We're going to kind of have just a little family time. So I thought I would just take some time before I um, spend some time with them to say a quick hello to you and hope you're doing really well. Take care. Talk to you soon.